Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Simplant Pro. First, we switch to the step Plan Implants and activate the option Create or Change an Implant. In the 3D window, left click the region where you would like to add the implant. In this way, Simplant Pro will show you the corresponding slices in all 2D view windows. Now we select Draw an Implant in the Task Panel. We move the mouse cursor, which changed to the shape of a pen, to the cross-sectional view and with the tip of the pen, we indicate the location where you want to plan the implant shoulder. In this case, Simplant Pro has been configured with Dense Splicerona Prime Taper as its default implant. Use the diagnostic setup included as a reference to set the angulation. And when choosing the implant length, aim to be 2 mm away from the nerve canal. To define the length and buccal lingual angulation, we move the mouse apically. We left click to establish the position of the implant apex. The implant is now visualized in your images. In order to add additional information to the implant, double click it to access its properties. Here we will indicate the tooth position. If you need to change the implant diameter or you want to use another implant type, click Specify Implant. The Implant Library window appears, showing all implant diameters of the currently selected implant type. You can navigate through the left panel to find other implant models from the same manufacturer or choose a different manufacturer. If you cannot find a particular implant type or manufacturer, Please check the type of Simplant guide currently selected, as the Implant Library filters out the implant types not compatible with the guide type selected. Click OK to close the Implant Library and click again OK to close the Implant Properties window. You can repeat this process at any moment during the planning to modify the implant details. Now, let us adjust the implant position. We recommend using the 2D views to keep more control over the changes. First, we'll zoom in and center the image. Move the mouse on top of the implant body and click and hold the left button to drag the implant to a new location. We check in the axial view and continue in the panoramic view. To rotate the implant, position the mouse cursor on top of one of the two rotate icons that appear over the implant shoulder or below the implant apex. When using the former, the implant will rotate relative to the apex of the implant. If using the latter, the implant will rotate relative to the shoulder of the implant. Click and hold the left mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the implant. Again, we drag and drop the implant and scroll through the cross-sectional view. At any time, you can undo any of these actions by clicking the Undo icon or pressing Ctrl-Z on your keyboard. Next to it, you will find the icon to Redo. When adjusting the implant position or length, the software will warn you automatically in case the implant is planned too close to the nerve. Make sure the collision detection tool is activated. We undo the modification of the length. If you want to have more accuracy in these adaptations, you can choose the Move Implants option in the task panel. Here you can indicate the millimeters and degree the implant will move or rotate with each use of the movement controls. As soon as you move the mouse to one of the views, a set of movement controls, arrowheads, and rotation controls, arrowed circles, will appear. In the 3D view, the available controllers will change depending on the orientation of the 3D model. Blue controllers move the implant following along the implant's axis. Green controllers move or rotate the implant mesiodistally. 
Red controllers move or rotate the implant buccolingually. When hovering the mouse over the controllers, they will become active. Left click on top of the controller once to move or rotate the amount specified before in the task panel. Repeat as needed. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Simplant Pro.